body relax and it doesn't fight no more. It only takes about four minutes, probably. It's split her open from her neck to her groin, from the knee to the hip. Took the skin off, took the cords out, took the fat off. There's only about that big around anyway. He stuffed her mouth with dirt and mud to keep her quiet. And I don't know what's wrong with me. It seems like some serial killers go unnoticed in the world with their stories, just sitting in prison, many of them long gone, but their terrible murders still happened. In particular, Arthur Shawcross, who has a broad valley of murdering people in a huge timeline. His individual murders may actually disturb you. Maybe Arthur's life is too well written as a serial killer. He has the childhood that you would think every serial killer should have. What makes them tick? Having no empathy for life as they come into adulthood. Arthur's childhood, it has to make sense as the way he describes it. For everything to work the way it did with him, it has to be an indication of how killers are made. There's a story that Arthur tells of when he was in Vietnam as a soldier. He found two village girls. He tied up each of them to separate trees, one facing the other, so they could see each other, point blank. Arthur walks over to one of them, randomly picking her, and starts to tear her apart with a machete, limb by limb, while the other girl urinates and screams for her life. Arthur's stories of murder and his life are so disturbing that it's hard not to believe that he should always be talked about in the top food chain of serial killers. This is what a serial killer starts as, innocent to a vicious and ruthless walking nightmare. <laughs>